Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a gravity ice dye. The shirt was prepped like normal and I have it turned inside out. So you may have seen these out on Facebook. I'm not quite sure who started them, but I thought it looked like an interesting experiment, so I thought I would give it a try. To set this up, I have two plastic sawhorses and I've placed a piece of my vinyl guttering in between the two sawhorses and turned it upside down so that the flat side is up. Then I placed a plastic container underneath just to catch any of the runoff from the melting ice and dye. I'm putting the shirt diagonally on the piece of guttering. So one shoulder seam down to the opposite corner of the hem is what's going down the middle of the guttering. Then instead of stretching the shirt out the full length of the piece of guttering, I'm gonna put just a couple of folds in the shirt. The basic idea of this tie dye is that you put the dye on the top and you allow gravity to pull it down to the sides of the shirt that are hanging off the guttering. You can use any kind of a setup that you want. I just thought that the guttering would work really well because it's flat on the back side and because it's vinyl, the dye wouldn't soak in. The shirt is damp, but I decided to use some soda ash solution that I have in the spray bottle to wet the area where I'm going to put the dye. As you can tell, it is a little bit windy out here. Not super bad, but I want to make sure the dye stays put. For this shirt, I'm going to use a variety of purples and kind of hot pink colors. The colors that I'm going to use in the order that I'm going to use them in are Amethyst from Dharma, Velvet Orchid from Dye Spin, Passion Fruit from Custom Colors, True Violet from Grateful Dyes, Razzle Dazzle from Dharma, Royal Purple from Dye Spin, Boysenberry from Pro Chemical and Dye, Dusty Pink from Custom Colors, and Orchid from Dye Spin. I'm placing a pretty good amount of dye on the surface of the shirt. This is one of my first gravity dyes that I've ever done, so I'm not entirely sure how much dye it takes. Once I've applied all the dye, I'm going to use the back of my spoon and kind of smooth the dye down just a little bit into the shirt. I didn't do that as I was applying the dye because I have wet soda ash on top of the shirt and I don't want to transfer soda ash into my actual dye containers by accident. Now I'm going to place a small sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the dye. I have some small wire containers which I purchased at the dollar store quite a while ago and I'm using those to place the ice on top of the shirt. I'm doing this in the shade but it's summertime here and close to 100 degrees if not over today so the ice is melting really fast. I came back and added a couple more layers of ice 
and allowed the shirt to stay under the trees and process for about 24 hours. The shirt dried out somewhere during that 24 hours, but because I had added so many layers of ice, it stayed damp long enough for the dye to properly bond with the fabric, especially since it is so hot outside. Once the shirt dries out, that will end the bonding process, so you need to make sure you keep it damp long enough for that to happen. The birds were very intrigued with this process as well. I had to run them off a couple of times because they kept trying to investigate what was going on. At some point, I went ahead and took the wire racks off and just added a little bit of ice on top of this undissolved dye. Then to rinse the shirt, I took it to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water. There was still a little bit of undissolved dye left sitting on top, so I rinsed that out really well before I warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Because the dye colors are so dark, I was having a hard time getting all the excess dye rinsed out, so I just decided to soak the shirt. I placed some hot water in my utility sink along with a little bit of Blue Dawn dish detergent and allowed the shirt to soak. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and continued the soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with some Dharma's textile detergent into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle. And then after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I really like this one. I like this technique. I think it turned out looking really cool. Um, it has a definite watercolor feel to it. And I like how the colors get really wispy out at the edges. I'm also really happy that I put the shirt on a diagonal. I personally like things that are a little off center. So this one really appeals to me. I also really love the color combination. Of course, you know how I love purple, so you just add in some pink and it's perfect. I also like the darker shades of purple and pink that I used and the cool color splits that came out. Down toward the bottom part of the shirt, there are little wisps of blue, which I think are very interesting. There's something a little bit surprising on the shirt. You can see the line going diagonally across the shirt where I place the dye, but I don't think it distracts or takes away from the design. There are just a few little darker areas here and there. So overall, I'm really happy with this shirt. I think it looks really pretty and I think it was a fun technique to try. I actually have a couple more shirts right now that are processing. So I'm excited to rinse those out and see how they turned out. If you guys have enjoyed the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.